Now here is the revolutionary part. What if instead of having workers repeatedly fetch small batches from the factory, from the warehouse to the storage, what if you could have a single linear conveyor belt? That is exactly what Grox is trying to do. Each station of the belt does one step of the assembly and then hands it off to the next station with the minimal travel time. Here is how Grox approach breaks down. First, everything moves in the same direction. Rather than pulling items from a big storage every few minutes, you have every single item that rides the conveyor and passes smoothly from one station to the other. This is exactly what eliminates all the waste that happens when you go from the storage to the warehouse. Second, the stations are all next to each other, so there is no waste of time in traveling. There is no time wasted around because this is all happening continuously, because items keep arriving into a steady stream, so there is no waiting around. And the utilization is so much higher than into the GPU's architecture because of this. And fourth, there is very minimal off-chip storage. In fact, in the GPU warehouse analogy, large weights and parameters live very, fra very far from the warehouse very far from the chip in storage, which is the HBM. So you have a lot of time to travel from the HBM to the chip. But in Grox pipeline, you rely heavily on local memory. The data keeps flowing in one direction without back and forth, without back and forth movement from the off memory to the on memory. You can think of workers spending almost all of the time on the assembly line rather than moving the data. That means higher performance, lower waste of energy, and better suited for continuous tasks like AI agents or everything that's really application-based, which is inference. Jonathan Ross, which is the CEO of Grok, claims that their new architecture with LPUs can use only one third of the energy to generate one token compared to the standard GPU architecture. And if you multiply this by the billions of tokens that you generate every single day in inference, well, that's a lot of savings. In traditional GPUs, HBMs are a big bottleneck, but thanks to Grok's pipeline LPUs approach, you fix all of that because there is zero reliance on HBMs. 